Hello, my name is Sensei George. I'm Sensei Andre. And we hope you and your families are doing really well during this time uh, that we're off from IGK and for school and all of that. So uh, we're healthy, we're doing very well, our family's doing well. We hope that your family's doing really well. And today, Sensei Andre and I would like to do some, uh, some kicking drills with you for this video. And we really don't need a whole lot of equipment for what we're going to do today. We have an, a chair that we're going to mostly use for balance. We're not planning on kicking the chair or really anything else. It's mostly uh, going to be used as a prop to kick over or for balance. And the overall uh, purpose of today's video, instructional video, is to emphasize proper kicking form and balance and control. So before we begin our kicking drills, we want to make sure that you stretched. Um, rather than take time and show us all stretching here during the video, we encourage you to go ahead and pause the video here in just a moment and um, do uh, at least a few minutes of stretching. Go through the regular OCIGK uh, stretching drills that we normally do, the floor exercises, the, necks, the neck, the arms, and, and all of the other things that we do. Uh, it's very important that you do that so that you make sure that you don't, uh, you're don't you loose and limber and don't injure yourself when we're doing the kicking. So go ahead and turn off the video now and take a few moments to stretch. Hi, before we start with our kicking drills, we'd like to make sure that everybody's safe. So as part of safety, we'd like to urge you to try to find a place to do these kicking drills where you have sufficient space. It's a good opportunity to review the different kicking surfaces of the foot. So we, we talk about five kicking surfaces on the foot. Let's talk about the first one is the instep. Some people call it the top of the foot, more simply the top of the foot. Some people refer to it as the bridge of the foot. We call it the instep, okay? And um, so we use it on the groin kick, for example. We also do a form of the mawashigeti that uses the instep as well. So the next kicking surface is the ball of the foot. So when we do our maigeti, uh, we kick with the ball of the foot. And that is uh, also used in one of our roundhouse kicks, the mawashigeti with the ball of the foot. And next, the blade of the foot is... This is the whole blade of the foot. Usually when you're kicking with this, you're typically trying to aim a little bit towards the back, more towards the heel. That gives you a more solid kick. So that's the third surf kicking surface that we talk about. And then finally, for kicks like, for example, the, the back kick or the mule kick, uh, you have the heel of the foot. And so you can kick back and strike with the heel of the foot. All right. And then finally, the arch of the foot is the, the inside. Go ahead, Andre. So the inside of the foot right here is the arch of the foot. And the, the most um, uh, obvious kick that we have with the arch of the foot is the crescent kick. So with that, let's go ahead and transition over to the kicking drills. Thank you. Our first exercise involves using the chair, and we're mostly going to use it for balance. As we are doing an exercise, we're going to start with my Getty front ball kick, and we're not going to go too fast. And the purpose of this exercise is to emphasize uh, good form for the kick, proper kicking surface uh, that would make contact with the foot, and also balance and control. So go ahead and grab the chair with a good death grip on there so that you make sure that you don't fall. And we're gonna do my Getty very kind of slowly here so that we can emphasize good form, balance, and control. So Sensei Andre will go ahead and demonstrate with uh, the first ball kick. Knee up, contact with the ball of the foot, bring it back down. Again, he repeats. He brings the knee up, puts it back down. And then you can go ahead and do 10 of those. And um, when you're done with that, you can switch to the other leg and do the same thing. So again, the, the thing that we're emphasizing here is 
balance, good form, and control. It also helps develop, when you're doing it slowly like this, it helps develop the hip muscles that you're going to need when you're trying to do it with speed and power. Um, so that's what we have. All right, so now that we've demonstrated the basic idea of this uh, drill, we'd like to do, we'd like you to join in. Make sure you grab your chair and go ahead and follow along with Sensei Andre as he does 10 on each side. So we're gonna start, go ahead. All right, let's go ahead and try the other side. Follow along with Sensei Andre. Remember, balance, control, and good form is the emphasis here. We're going to do the same drill essentially, but we're going to do a different kick. Instead of Mawashigeti, this time we're going to do the, uh, excuse me, this time we're going to do Mawashigeti, the last time we were doing the uh, front ball kick, my Getty. So again, balance, form, and control or the emphasis don't go too fast. Follow along with Sensei Andre as he does 10 on each side. Very good. Thank you, Sensei Andre. So rather than review each of the different types of kicks that we do at IGK, we just like to point out that you can do this type of exercise with most any kick that we have. So you could do it with Yoko Getty, for example, and groin kick and so on and so forth. So go ahead and feel free to practice those as well. Thank you. So we do have one more uh, example uh, exercise that we'd like to do with you that uh, essentially we're gonna do the same kicks, but this time we're gonna do combinations. So for example, we're gonna do a front ball kick followed by a side kick, then you put the leg down after it. So each time you kick with the same foot and before putting it down, you do the other kick after it. We're gonna do five of these on each side and this is mostly geared towards the more advanced students who have had some practice doing this um, so let's go ahead and follow along with sensei andre
All right, very good, thank you. For our final exercise, we'd like to do one more drill involving the chair, but this time we're not gonna use it for balance, really. We're gonna use it because we're gonna to wanna to try to train ourselves to kick over it. We're not trying to kick it hard. We don't want to encourage you to kick it hard or anything like that, but we want to make sure that you're clearing it, hopefully. Uh, so this exercise, we have, for example, on this chair, we have this first surface here, which is fairly low. And so if you don't have a lot of strength here in your legs, you can do just using the low section. Uh, we're gonna demonstrate with two on each, uh, one, one foot kicking, clearing, putting the foot down and then with the other. So the still is working balance and form and control as before, but it also makes you uh, uh, work with your, with your muscles here, builds them up, and it also trains you to clear the surface that you're trying to get over. So in this case, the front section. So we're gonna do the same thing on the side, on the side arm. Okay, and I'll go ahead and move the chair for him. You can adjust however you need, and we're gonna do uh, five on each side, five with each foot, clearing the foot, clearing the, the back of the chair. So again, this forces you to raise your leg up uh, uh, so that your knee goes up high enough that you clear the surface. You're building your muscles here to help you kick better, and it gives you better control. So go ahead. So let's do one where he accidentally doesn't kick high enough, doesn't raise the knee high enough, and he actually actually kicks the back of the chair unintentionally. All right, so if you just swing your leg up, it doesn't work. You have to bend the knee, bring it up, and that's the proper way of doing it, which is how he was doing it before. Let's go ahead and do a couple more correctly. It's hard. All right. It's hard and that's why I'm asking him to do it rather than me. So you guys can practice this at home with my Getty. You could do it with Mawashi Getty, Yoko Getty, and many other kicks. The chair could be a very good, um, useful tool to help you balance or to train yourself to kick over the way that we've done here. This concludes our instructional video for today. We'd like to thank you for um, watching this and participating in it. We'd also like to encourage you to do this, not just today, not just do it once, but this is a video that you can uh, review and do practice over and over again. Um, as we said before, you can do the three basic kicks that we did today, but you can also incorporate some of the other basic kicks that we do in our dojo. Um, so we encourage you to go ahead and try that. So on behalf of Sensei Andre and the entire staff for OCIGK, thank you for watching. We hope you're doing well and we hope to see you soon. Uh, look for messages, emails, and uh, information on the OCIGK website from Shihan on uh, any updates for when we will be returning for class. Thank you.